Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back. Let's get another reaction for you guys. Take us, of course, here, continue the journey of my adventures with Superman. This is Season 2, Episode 3 of the show, Full Metal Scientist. I like that title, Full Metal Scientist. So, the first two episodes dropped, of course, last week, basically reintroducing and bringing back the show, My Adventure Superman. And the first two episodes of Season 2, I think, overall, were pretty good in terms of bringing us back into the show. And then, of course, confirming officially, Alex is Lex Luthor. We pretty much all confirmed that and they confirmed that in the marketing but we have him interacting with Amanda Waller and a lot of things went down and I honestly thought in terms of the first two episodes kind of interconnecting because of Kara well you know the idea that she's out there somewhere and there's a beacon and everything and now Clark has it and I thought the end of episode two we're going to be given a hint like we're just going to see Kara like right now like in terms of present time instead of the baby we saw but no we did not so now I'm thinking it's going to be in the middle of the season probably episode four episode five We'll finally see Kara. And because I feel like this season is basically surrounding her and him trying to find her. So my guess is we'll be seeing where she is at some point. And then eventually they'll kind of meet up or whatever in the back half of season two. And they're already in discussion in terms of season three and four in terms of their outlining and everything. It just hasn't been officially confirmed yet for season three and four. But I'm hoping we get it because I love what the show is doing in terms of its tone, its storytelling, and how it's expanding more and more in terms of the Superman mythos and everything. So I really hope we get more seasons than just the two that we already have confirmed and everything because I feel like there's so many more story and things they could do with this show. Not so much like Justice League and all this stuff, which is possible, I guess, but my thing is the direction they're taking the show and just, like I said, the tone, I really hope we get to see just more of what they can offer and more that they can actually kind of change and kind of throw twists and curves into because they're, they've been surprising in terms of how they're telling their stories. So I'm really curious to see what happens uh, for the rest of the season and hopefully the future of this show. So let's dive into that, guys. So let's check it out. Season 2, Episode 3 of the show, Full Metal Scientist. Let's go. Wow. That was interesting. Are you all right? He saved him, though. What's your name? <coughs> Silas Stone. I'm okay. Silas? Oh, look at that. You made it out. Mm. Oh, I hate that it came to this. It's gone. All of it. Perfect. I'm Dr. John Iron, lead engineer at Ameltech. Mm. Hey, John. Right here in Baker Lodge. I am not sending you to cover stories on your like he's own. just sitting there in his Lord underwear. Like he's like... Mr. Lane. General. General. My bad. I maybe you can explain. That's it! You will not report on crazy robots with your He's losing it. Oh. I'm your boss, and you should really clean up after yourself. Good luck, buddy. Good morning, Mr. Lane. Uh, and where were you last night? Uh. I woke up and you were gone. You are awake. And one day your screw up act is going to hurt my daughter. Mm. Mr. Lane, I'm I'm late to meet Lois for coffee. That's not why I wanted to meet. There's something I really need to talk to you about, Lois. Clark, she's she's God. already gave her opinion on that. Okay, today is not going great. But oh, but you'll figure it out. Hopefully, you'll turn around. The She's holding it up. <laughs> the Metallo. This guy is very energetic. Fusion! Of course, it's going to fuck up. Mm. How does work? Lois Lane, Daily Planet. So does They're going back and forth. No, no. I should have guessed you'd be here after your promotion. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, I gotta cover the story. You know about that? Mr. Weston is unavailable. Okay, well, tell him that Lois Lane is tired. Uh, I know their recruiter, and I need ten minutes. No one scoops Vicky Vale. No one scoops Whoa. Vicky Vale. Better be careful. Dr. Iron, sorry to intrude. What the hell happened? Oh, that robot go haywire, maybe? 
no Dr. Iron. When the lab loaned Smith. They're gonna work together actually, or she's it. Run away. Run, run, run. Oh, ah, that's cool. Hi. Don't hide, Jimmy. Don't hide, Jimmy. Wait, where are we? Oh, thank goodness. You brought Superman. Oh, he's already there first. Okay. I, I didn't know who to call, but Dr. Irons, what's going on? It's easier to show you. The robots are going haywire. The Hammertech first hide, and I was thrilled. The steel mech suit. They're four first response. Mm -hmm. They can withstand fire. Yeah, the steel. Mm -hmm. The flaw in the metallo power cores that makes so basically them this, deeply unsafe. This guy's just an idiot. We didn't Ooh. realize it when we were working with only one prototype. But when more than one activate, they it, meld together. Yeah. We haven't made a safer metropolis. Made it worse. We built a bomb. Grab the nerds, order a pizza. Grab the nerds. He's an now, ass. This is not a fix it by morning kind of problem. Silas and I recorded this in secret. But everyone we tried to talk I'm guessing to Silas deleted the his file. Dr. Iron, Lois Lane of the Daily Superman, Jimmy, Flip, Mr. Olsen. Not right now, Flip. Uh, is there robots outside? Not until I get an interview. Get away from the window. Live wire. Oh come on, this was supposed to be an easy one. Mm. It got dark all of a sudden. Thomas, like, that's weird. Anyways, lives are at stake. He's lucky they're bad shots. Okay, I gotta fight back. Come on, come on, man. Okay, here we go. Okay. And it's a really bulky suit. Or the hammer, of course. Yes. Hammer time. Oh. I'm not sure what this new ability is exactly. I'm trying to remember, like... Hmm. Flip, do you still have the flying newsroom? The flying newsroom. Yeah, come on, hit the final one, let's go. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, nice, okay. <laughs> a little too close. A little too close. I'm not a bad guy. I'm, you are. I've been writing my story on my phone all day long. And it posted 10 minutes ago. That's right. No one scoops Lois Lane. How'd you like the number two reporting spot at the Gazette? Oh, what? Huh? You're offering me a job? You're ambitious. Sooner or later, you'll have to move on if you want mm. to move up. Nothing lasts forever. We'll talk later. Okay. They can never have that moment to chat about her job offer, him hey. finding the beacon. Well, and when Superman faltered, it was Dr. Irons who saved the day. Metropolis is more than a city. It's the sum of its people. We got orders to escort you off the premises. What? Permanently. Uh, what? By who? By me. Starting today, Amertech <sighs> and all of its IP are owned by LexCorp. There you have it, guys. That was Season 2, Episode 3 of My Adventures of Superman. And I think overall, this was a pretty solid episode of the show. I do have one thing that I wish they wouldn't have done, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, the biggest highlight, of course, is seeing Steel, seeing John working alongside with Superman. It was really cool to see in the third act and the giant hammer. The suit is really, really big, and unfortunately, he's not able to keep it because Lex Corse comes in and takes over because Amanda Waller and Lex Luthor have a lot of plans, and of course, they're taking over everything that's kind of happening at Emertech. And, you know, John loses his suit, the steel suit, but it is really, really bulky, but it still worked in terms of going against those gigantic metallic robots, which we'll get to that in a second. 
So Lex and Amanda Waller are making moves. Now they have all the Metallo uh, robots. Um, seeing the kind of over-the-topness a little bit in terms of Lois going against Vicky Vale was pretty interesting, and I think it worked for the episode in terms of Vicky always being one step ahead, Lois then being ultimately the, the actual step ahead at the end and getting off her job. We know she's not going to take the job with Vicky Bell. And if she does, it's not going to be permanent. Like, she'll come back to Metropolis if that's the direction they go. But it's just one of those things to where now she has something to speak with Clark about. And he has something to talk to her about in terms of the beacon. But she already gave her opinion on, well, we don't know if your cousin's actually going to be good or not. So he's wanting to talk to her more about it. And then now she has something to talk to him about. So it's be one of those things to where they're gonna, it's all going to come to a head probably in the next episode where he wants to talk to her. She wants to talk to him. And then it just kind of blows up probably into a fight. That's my guess. We'll see because he doesn't want her to leave and she doesn't want him to go find his cousin because who knows if she actually is going to be on the side of good or bad because she doesn't have any clue. And so she kind of has a little bit of an opinion like her father, which it was funny to see her dad in this episode be all dirty and stuff and not really clean stuff up and <laughs> just just being, you know, him essentially, but just not ever not looking at the exit of the door. You never turn your back on the exit apparently so that's what his mindset is um the thing I, I didn't really like and wish they would have done differently the metallo robots we've already seen plenty of robotic and robot you know villains in this show the only thing that i think they could do is seeing atomic skull being more like atomic skull from the comics in this show really worked within i think it was episode two we got introduced to him um in the season but now we have all these robots, they're called Metallo. Now, if they have a guy later on who actually ends up being real Metallo, and then he just kind of takes the name, because say, like, say Lex and Amanda are making stuff or whatever, and then, the, you know, and they're experimenting on people like Amanda was doing, and then eventually someone gets turned into Metallo, because they do have those bits of kryptonite, right? Because Destro does have those bits of kryptonite from his blade. So if they actually create an actual, what we know from the comics version of Metal or some sort of version of Metal that we kind of know versus these robot like army, then I could see that working in terms of Amanda Waller and Lex giving this person in the name Metallo because he, let's say he leads the army or something, or he is what we know as Metallo. But these Metallo robots, they're just robots. You didn't need to call them Metallo. I get the point, but oh guys, the reverence Metallo, but it, it's not necessary because they're just robots. They're just robots running off of some sort of like solar energy or something like that. Like it's, it's not Metallo. <laughs> that's the one thing I kind of wish they wouldn't have done, but that's just me in terms of you're creating an, an army. I feel like they could have done something different in terms of bringing, you know, steel into the mix, John into the mix. Um, Silas, by the way, Silas. So his son who ends up, of course, being cyborg is about nine or 10 years old now. So we're not going to be seeing him for quite a bit, or if we ever do, he's not going to become cyborg for quite a while, a number of years. And I think with, we've seen now Vicky Vell a couple times in the show. There's not been any mention of a bat person, a bat character, but maybe he is, maybe it's a myth. Maybe Vicky doesn't believe in it. So there's no, there's no real reason to mention, but I would think in terms of her being in Metropolis and seeing this guy, Superman, and she was in the same room as Superman in this episode, that if there was somebody in Gotham that was being a, a vigilante kind of here, I think she maybe would make the comparison or say something, but nothing's been said. So my guess is Batman is not active right now. He's not out there. Or if he is, no one knows about it. It's a myth. Maybe. Um, but interesting that they got Lois to have kind of a story in this episode because, you know, I feel like it, it helps because the idea of like my adventures of Superman, it, there's a lot of discussion about what that title means. And I think it kind of means in terms of our adventures with watching Superman. So my adventures of Superman, but more so maybe Lois and Jimmy's. But I think having Lois have her actual story, it kind of reminds me of what Superman and Lois, the show does for the, uh, on the CW where Lois has her own stories as well as Clark does, and then there's sometimes they inter intertwine and they kind of connect in a sense. So I like the fact in this case, we're giving Lois kind of a story as well, where they're it's all connected in terms of Hammer Tech and you know the craziness of these metallic robots, and then Vicky and Lois are fighting to who can get there faster to get the scoop and get the story out. And then, of course, Superman is involved as well with Jimmy and everything, so it's all interconnected to the same plot. But having Lois have her own separate little thing with Vicky, I think was interesting to kind of add to the episode. Because I'm not sure what else you could have done time-wise to add to the episode if that wasn't there. 
um overall i think this episode was pretty 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 um pretty solid pretty solid it wasn't like an amazing episode i was trying to find that word <laughs> i'm still tired um there were some people uh commenting saying that uh, even even gore the movie god saying that it wasn't this, this wasn't a great episode it was a great episode but it also to me at least it wasn't bad there are definitely some things mm, okay but i'm just hopeful that as we're continuing along with season two that especially when we get to the supergirl stuff i'm really curious to see how they're going to handle that and i'm really hoping it's good because it was rumored since season one early on in season one the supergirl was going to be in the show and that she's going to be in season one of course she wasn't in season one so I'm hoping that they, they handle Supergirl well because it's really going to change the show because now we're, we don't have just one Kryptonian. Now we have two, and of course Zod's out there as well. So there's a lot of moving pieces there, but we'll see what happens. But overall, like I said, this episode, pretty solid. Curious to see where we go from here. And um, yeah, you know that the whole Lois and Clark where they each have to tell each other something, it's going to blow up into a fight or something and all that. And I wonder what John's role is going to be moving forward in terms of him not having the steel suit anymore what his roles can be moving forward and maybe silas as well because silas went into hiding so maybe we're just not going to see his character again for quite a bit but i'm hoping we get to see john more because i really liked his introduction to the show and i really hope we get to see more of him so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the reaction i'm curious to know what you guys thought, guys thought about this episode whatever thoughts you have guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below talk to you guys soon peace out